Oh, hi. Martin. Just Martin. I was just looking through this uh, scripture concerning the ascension. But it was, wasn't the ascension. It was several weeks before. This is the last day Jesus is around before they put him to death. And at one point, as he's talking to them, he says this. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give with you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does, take place you may believe this is John 14 now the reason this has to do with the ascension is that one of the things that Jesus said and he'll say it later in John is that if he leaves he can send the Holy Spirit to them Jesus started his ministry when the Spirit came down on him when he was baptized by John the Baptist and the point was that the Spirit was the one who gave him the power. He had power before he became incarnate, but he handed and set that aside. He wanted us to know that the power of the Holy Spirit could do all these things. And in point of fact, he actually said that we would do greater things than him because he's gone to the Father. So the ascension of Jesus Christ, something that most people don't think about, something that you don't see except on bulletins, has a very important meaning. Because what it means is, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you have someone in a very high place. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. And if you need something and you ask him, and it's within his bailiwick, He'll turn to the father and say, Daddy, my brother, my sister needs something. That's powerful. Having Jesus sit by the side of his father to talk your needs, to get your needs fulfilled, is important. And the fact that he arranges to have the spirit sent so that you can live his life be able to do amazing things, be able to hear his voice each and every day. Well, most people, when you tell them this, they go, is that in the scriptures? Well, you just heard me read it. It's there. It's there. And because Jesus is who he says he is, it's real. I want you to think about this a moment. Paul would later say that no person could believe in Jesus Christ without the Holy Spirit. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you don't have to wait for the Holy Spirit. He's already there. But this leads to another question. Are you listening? I've mentioned this three or four times before in our small talks about listening to God and listening to what his spirit has to say. My question to you is, if you are a believer in Jesus, if you do have the Holy Spirit, are you listening? That's why Jesus spent all that time in the mornings. He would go somewhere quiet, get rid of the noise, get rid of all the people trying to yell in his ear, that, I want this, I want that, and then turning to the Father, in the power of the Spirit and saying, Daddy, what do you want? Where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to speak to? How do you want me to spend this day? And if you think about it, for 1900 plus years, there have been men and women who are in the church who realize that what Jesus was doing was not just for Jesus. It's for us. The old ways of meditation and prayer of devotionals make sense if you're actually going to spend time listening to God, listening to what he wants. Because let's face it, 
when it comes to making decisions, we human beings suck. We don't know how, we don't know when, we don't know where. But he knows how, he knows where, and he knows when. So it would make sense to listen to him, to hear his spirit, to find out what he wants, and how he wants you to bless other people, and how he can bless you. It's not rocket science, but it's not easy. It takes time, it takes work, it takes diligence, and it takes one other thing, something that most human beings don't have and indulge in, something very scary. It takes humility. You know and I know we live in an age where people are told to push themselves forward, to make your way, to be your person. What was that phrase? You do you. But I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever considered you do God? Listening to what God's word says. Listening to him in quiet prayer. Listening to your brothers and sisters who know what is good and right. Some of which are very wise. It would make sense to listen. Because that listening can change you for the better. I think we need to stop. Turn off the music, turn off the noise and the news, turn off and be quiet and tell God Almighty, with the power of the Holy Spirit, tell God Almighty, I want to talk to you. And more importantly, I want to listen to you. I'm going to warn you, it's scary, but I'm also going to give you this. It will bless you. Try it. Thank you for listening to this message. Thank you for your prayers, your good wishes, and your comments. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to serve you. We want to have you help us serve you and other people. And so we recommend that you come to our website, which is www.stpaulutheranla.com or .org. Either will work. You'll have some sources that are there, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and if you're so inclined, there's a donate button. We don't mince words, but we don't twist arms. But we ask you this, if you think this ministry and the ministry of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Los Angeles is worthwhile, then we ask you to help us fulfill this ministry with your prayers, with your volunteer work, if you're near us at 9th and Adams, and with your offerings and tithes. Some people prefer just coming in and dropping it off. No problem there. Some people want to come to our worship service at 11 o'clock. Yeah, we're open. We are. We welcome you. And we ask you to think about us and pray for us as we continue this ministry. Again, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for all the ones of you who have cared over the months and are over the years. This is Martin. I'm just Martin. And this is 10 Minutes with God. Remember, Jesus is speaking on God the Father's behalf for you. Take care.